got serious real. We have a. See that? Mm-hmm. See how eyebrows are doing? See, see, my, see, see, see eyebrows. It's just I got up one there. coming up. Just up there. <laughs> That's how we do it. It's gone. What's up? It's Roy. Uh, Roy's going to be mean today. I'm just going to tell you fresh out of the gate. All right. Truth. Truth can be mean sometimes. Roy, what's the analogy you gave earlier? Two plus two is four. Does okay. that offend you? If it's just information. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. I can't help how you handle the truth. That's what, we what do you mean, four plus? What, what, how, why is it two plus two? I know, I know. It's like why? It's, it's just four. There's no emotion attached to that. So no we, emotion. We're fixing to give you some truth, Kevin. So, Kevin, Kevin from Canton. Canton, Ohio. Canton, Ohio. My boy. Basically, he has been trying to quit smoking. He's tried everything. Nothing's working. So, is there a herb or is there some sort of cleanse that you can do? We don't give a damn about all that. Mm. Roy is going to give it to you straight. Yeah. And and just don't take it personal. Just go ahead and listen to what he's got to say because it's going to empower you. I'm right. guaranteeing you. And, and then I got something on the end that I'm going to put on there like some spice, spice on it. And then when you get done, you just sprinkle that little bit and on it. And then I'm going to fade it up. Now it's done. Now it's done. Now it's going to fade away. All right, Roy, look, man, what you got for us? Here's the deal, Kevin. I, I know you've been trying to quit smoking. I know it's very... You know, tough and all that sort of thing. And I'm not going to sit over here and tell you all the hazards of smoking. I'm not going to tell you why it's bad for you. I'm not going to, like I told, I'm not going to hold up a, you know, this is a good lung from a good, this is this charred up, crusty <laughs> motherfucker coming from a smoker. I'm not going through all that. We all know it, right? It's not a lack of information that's the problem. We all know it's smoking. And I know we've been on a cigarette company. Y'all need to put on a label that it kills you. It don't matter. That's not the problem. It's addictive. We know that. That's not the problem. Here's the problem. If you really want to know the problem, here's the problem. Okay? Oh, shit. Here we go. Let me move in a little closer. Get closer, man. Because here's the deal. If you quit smoking, if you were to give it up right now, if you were to put your cigarettes down and give it up right now and stop your intake of nicotine, what's going to happen is you're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel uncomfortable. That's you're going to be in discomfort. And we are so terrible at, be, at being uncomfortable. Why are we terrible at it? We're just, we're terrible at it. We've become weak punks. I don't know what the candy ass and sugar bricks is. <laughs> I don't know what the what best term is. You know, I don't want to say nothing that's too. You but know, no, too graphic. Too, I mean, we just, we become. We're this, wimps. We, we're wimps. wimps. We can't be uncomfortable for two or three days. We're so bad at it that there's multi billion dollar industries banking on you, banking being. on you, being a wuss, being weak. And that's what it is. Because if you quit smoking, you're not going to have physical pain. You're not going to burst into flames. You're not going to have organ failure. You're not going to bleed out of your eyeballs. None of that's going to happen. You're just going to be uncomfortable. The same kind of uncomfortable if it's too warm in a room or it's too cool in a room or mm-hmm. whatever. And listen, I just gave up a nicotine habit, okay? So I'm not just saying this. Too to, Yeah, too up. Well, I mean, I smoked years ago and then dipped for off and on for a long time. And, you know, dipping, you get a lot of nicotine out of that. And I loved it. But... It wasn't conducive to what we were doing. It was just not conducive to my lifestyle. It was the, one, the only thing that I held on to that, you know, I'd given up everything else. And it was like, man, I, I'm almost 40. I mean, what the hell am I doing? You know, so the thing is, you're going to be in September, man. September. Man. 39-year-old. I'm thing. tired of feeling old. Uh-huh. <laughs> so if you want to quit, man, here's what you got to do. You got to realize that you're going to be uncomfortable. You can use all these little tools that, you know, there's, like we said, there's multi-billion dollar industries out there that where you, you know, can take some gums in case you feel something. God forbid you feel something, right? God forbid mm-hmm. you, you got some patches, we got some vaporizers that you can use. Man, all don't, kind of, don't attack the vape. The vape craze is going out there, you know. It's, it, I'd hate for anybody to have to feel some shit. You know, I just, I'd hate for you to have to feel something because... God forbid you get uncomfortable for, for a day or two. Imagine that. Three or four days y'all. of discomfort. I told y'all he's coming at you. Right? Well, it's the truth, though. If you want to know the truth, you want to quit, you got to stop doing it and let the nicotine get out of your system. And you need to feel every bit of it. That's the thing, man. That's where you're going to learn something. That's where you climb a mountain. That's where you overcome something. When I quit, I was never so aware of time in my life. I felt every <laughs> second of the day. It was like this little clock was up there and I was just watching it tick off. But what I did was I didn't avoid situations. I didn't 
you know, try to stay away from where I would normally like to do dipping or whatever, then the very next day I went disc golfing, which is where I love to dip the most. I put my ass right in the fire, man. That's, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to feel it because I didn't want to be a victim to this discomfort. I wanted to be a student of it. I wanted to absorb it all. I wanted to feel it all. I wanted to learn from it. And it was uncomfortable. But here I am. Made it. You didn't, Nicotine didn't die. Free. Didn't die. Didn't cheat. Didn't use any kind of, you know, pacifiers or nothing to get through it. I didn't have to have my mama hold me. I didn't need no pills or nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you can survive it, you can do it, but you're gonna be uncomfortable. Suck it up. Here's the Get other part. Through. Here's the other part. Get ready, all right? You ready, Roy? I'm ready. Get ready to be the strongest motherfucker you've ever been before. That's you're right. gonna be able, next. the next thing that comes down the pike, you're gonna refer back to, man, I, I did the smoking thing, and it's gonna collate over into this hurdle. And then this hurdle and this hurdle, man, you might be the next, you know. But not but if you avoid it. Not if you avoid it and you just, you know. You it's just going to teach you how to embrace the, not really the misery, but the, but the embracing that uncomfortable sensation that, that, that you have to do for any vulnerability. Yeah. You know, when you start a business, when you step on stage and you're, you're a comedian or you write a book or whatever it is that you're doing, there's going to be some discomfort there because it's, you know, those those stepping stones are uncomfortable. But the result is you're not smoking anymore. You now have a book. You now invented the new car or you've invented the new energy source. And you so, have that certain amount of wisdom that you can only gain through through the suffering, through making it past this point. Mm -hmm. Get you know? ready to transcend, man. That's it. It's good advice. Good luck, bro. He's a dickhead, though. I understand that. <laughs> 15.